Hi Fools, healthcare analyst David Williamson. We've seen a variety of responses from businesses as they deal with the impending implementation of Obamacare in 2014. Now, the big Obamacare story of the week is that UPS is taking away healthcare from 15 thousand individuals. Now, these aren't employees, these are the spouses of white collar employees, and these are spouses who also get insurance through another job. Now, UPS was quick to blame the increased cost of Obamacare, saying healthcare spending for the company was going from a 7% annual increase to over 11%, but in truth, that seems a little like convenient cover to dump a healthy a hefty healthcare expense into the lap of other employers. Now, healthcare spending is a bit of a hot potato. Most employers want to offer an attractive plan to recruit and keep talent, but at the same time, it does really drive costs up. So while this isn't dumping or planned underemployment, uh, that's important to remember because there have been concerns about employers just dropping employees into the state-based insurance exchanges or limiting their hours so they aren't required to offer insurance and we have seen a delay of the large employer mandate until 2015. So if this is potentially the ugly side of Obamacare, although I do want to reiterate that everyone at UPS, uh, that everyone UPS is dumping will still have health insurance of some kind. Um, Let's take a look at the healthcare companies using the laws to expand their businesses in interesting ways. Now, we've previously highlighted about pharmacies expanding into a pseudo doctor role, being able to treat not just acute care, but also chronic conditions. Thanks to the Affordable Care Act's expansion of Medicaid, Walgreens is attempting to capture these newly insured lower income patients that may not have a regular general practitioner or be able to see one during business hours. And of course, once they get treated in a Walgreens and buy Walgreens pharmacy items, they're more than welcome to shop around the rest of the store as well. Now, this latest implementation uh, adjustment it comes from medical device stock Medtronic, which is pur purchasing Cardiocom, a company that monitors patients and sells related equipment, despite management's protests otherwise that this is about reducing hospital admissions and diversifying the business. I still see this as sort of a new age vertical integration. They can monitor and see how patients are doing and then offer Medtronic products to help when their condition worsens. Now, I do like the purchase for the company. Uh, it's not too risky at about $200 million, but I wouldn't run out and buy Medtronic stock. Uh, medical device companies are one of the real losers of Obamacare. Uh, we're moving away from a fee-for-service model, and of course the 2.3% excise tax on revenue are clear headwinds to these companies. Now, it's a tough market and pricing pressure makes me look elsewhere in healthcare for buys. So in closing, there is going to be clear market disruption and definite winners and losers to Obamacare, and it'll be interesting to see how the companies adjust to the changing healthcare landscape. So make sure to stay tuned to Fool.com for all your healthcare and Obamacare related news. Thanks for watching and Fool on.